Dude, you want to know why I'm angry? I'm a bird. I got no wings. You see a problem here? This is what we'll be creating in this tutorial. Okay, so we're going to learn how to draw and animate in Toon Boom Studio 4. First thing we'll do is open up Toon Boom Studio. And we have to pick a project format. I typically do, you know, the best that we can run on YouTube, which would be HD uh, 1080 24p. We'll call this bird animation. So you've got a couple of views in Toon Boom. Um, the two main views are your drawing view, which we're in now, and camera view. And typically you're going to do your drawing in your drawing area, and then we're going to animate it in camera view. And there's also these other two views that are related to camera view. They're just a side and top view of the camera. So first thing we need to do is to start drawing a character. So I'm going to choose the brush tool over here on the left side. Uh, that's the other thing. Up here, on uh, there's two kind of sets of tools here. Everything on the top set is related to drawing, and everything on the bottom set is relating to animating, animating your camera or, or animating your, your character. So we choose a brush tool over here, and we'll resize the brush on the bottom right-hand corner here. It's always a good idea when you're drawing cartoon characters to make your outside lines a little thicker than the inside detail type lines. So I'm going to start at about 13. The smoothness, what this does is it smooths out your lines. So it's not always that great to be drawing with a mouse, and most of us are. So smoothness just helps kind of, you know, when we do little bumps in the, in the line, it'll smooth it out for us. So I'm going to put this up to about 5 or so. Let's draw this. Okay. See how it kind of smooths the lines out there. And use the paint tool. Okay, so that's before we get into any of the details of the face. So basically all the thick lines that, that will do for our thick lines. Let's talk about the palette. You can actually create individual palettes. So if you had different characters, you could actually create different palettes for the characters or however you like to organize it. For now, we'll just use the default palette. So we're on the black there. So if we wanted to fill in that color, we could just choose one of these colors. We come over to the paint can and drop in the color. Um, I'm just gonna undo that Command Z uh, or Control Z. And I'm going to actually just draw some thinner lines with my brush. And because I don't want it to straighten it out too much, because I'm not doing the outside area, I'm going to reduce the smoothness on that and reduce the size. Uh, the other thing is I want to do these things on different layers. I'm going to put some eyebrows and, and the eyeballs on here, and I don't want them... I want to be able to animate them later, so I'm going to do them on separate layers. You do that over here in the bottom left corner. Um, my first drawing, I'll just say this is uh, head. And I'll hit the plus sign. And the drawing is the type. And we'll say uh, eyebrows. Click OK. Now you notice it disappeared. It's uh, it's like a, a real animation studio in the sense that you would normally be working on a light table. You have multiple pieces of paper and the light would shine through so you could see what's underneath. So let's turn on the light table. And now we get some kind of a reference there. We can zoom in if we press X on our keyboard. And make sure I have the right color selected. My black. My brush is the size I want it to be. I am on the eyebrows layer, and I'll draw my eyebrows. I'm going to animate them together just to make it easier. Uh, if I wanted to animate them separately, I'd put them on separate layers, uh, left and right eyebrow. Um, 
fill this in. Okay, let's make another layer for eyes. Okay. Undo that. Make a little bit thinner line here. You'll find you use the undo tool quite a bit. See, I mess up that line. It doesn't look right. So I can come back and, and just do this again. Not too bad. And actually, this is the eye outline. Um, my pupils is what I really want to animate. So I'm, I'll create another layer for the pupils. And now we're going to change the tool, the drawing tool we're using. Instead of brush, we can just hold down the left mouse button and we can choose another option. So we're going to choose ellipse and increase the size. And if I want to keep it a perfect circle, I can just hold down shift when I draw it. And I'll do another one. This top tool is to select. Move it around a bit. A little white dot in there. I'll fill that in. Zoom back out with Z on the keyboard. Okay. I'll create another layer for my nose, well, beak. Okay, now let's preview this in the camera view. We can see uh, instead of having all the lines all grayed out, let's have a look. Get rid of this grid. Okay, not doing too bad. We're almost ready for some color here. So let's go back to the head and put a little more detail on here. Uh, yeah, let's still use the brush and reduce this to a very fine line. fill these in. I'm going to fill the the main face here with a red, um, but I want these to be just a slightly darker version of the red. Now I could just jump here, but what's nice for if you want it to look more like shading, if you select that color and hit plus, it recreates a copy of that color down on the bottom. And now you can modify this particular one. So I'm going to, because I want it to be, I want it to be derivative of the, the red. So I'm going to just darken that a little bit. And paint in here. And now I can actually paint the lines as well. I think I can. I can get in uh, an easier way. I'll just uh, delete them. Okay. And you notice all the other details disappeared. It's just because I have, I'm in drawing mode and I have just the head selected. So that's what comes to the front. So, but if I actually go to the top of the list and select that, then you see everything. I have to go to camera view to kind of see it all together. Let's finish our coloring here.
And actually, I want to show you how to animate some legs. So I'm going to add some legs to this guy. Um, we'll do right leg. Left leg. If we're going to make him talk later, we're going to need to draw a number of different mouth forms. I still call it a mouth even though it's a beak. Um, so what we have to do is look up a mouth chart for Tomb Boom. Look that up in uh, Google pretty easily. There we go. And this is pretty much what we're looking at doing. So we've got to draw each one of these, uh, A, B, C, D, and so on. So let's try that. Uh, the first one, we've got it. The second one, his mouth is a little bit open. So I'm going to call it beak. I'm going to call it mouth. Um, so as soon as I go to this next frame, you notice everything disappears. So how we fix that? is let's say we're going to go 10 frames in and we want every every one of these things to go for at least 10 frames we can just select with the left mouse button and drag down or we can drag it down like that or you can select it and hit shift select the bottom one right click and say extend exposure Okay, so for the mouth, actually the mouth, we didn't need to do that, so I'll select that area, hit delete. There's our first mouth and the second mouth we want to draw. So this is where we use this show previous, and actually you have to be in drawing mode for that. Um, if we didn't have show previous on, so you wouldn't be able to see the original beak, so it's kind of nice to have that as a guideline. Zoom in. Outside color was black. Okay. So his mouth should be slightly open here. That should be a, about it. And I will one a little more open. Okay. And then this is kind of an F sound for G. And X is pretty much like the original one, so I'll just, I'm going to copy the original one. I'll actually copy the drawing itself, there's a difference. I'm going to just take Command C, Command V for a copy and paste there. And the extra mouths we don't really need. And let's save. So let's just quickly color these mouths. Okay. Save again. So there's an auto lip sync feature in Toon Boom. So let's get things set up for that. We we'll just select the mouth layer, then go into the exposure sheet and click on sound. Like this is where we're going to actually import the audio, which I used Audacity, and then you can even mess with it, make it sound more cartoony uh, by 
increasing the pitch. So I've done something like that. I right click on this import sound file. Bring desktop. A little dialog here. Open this up. Okay. Back to the timeline. Press play. Okay. So it actually cuts off because I'm not extending the entire uh, image all the way down. Let's do that. And just like we did before. We'll just. Oh. Extend exposure. Shift. Extend exposure. Dude, you want to know why I'm angry? I'm a bird. I got no wings. You see a problem here? And we want to name these appropriately too. So uh, in the exposure sheet, we select each one. Hold on. Cells. Yes, yeah, so it's showing this drawing nine is like this. That's really just our A mouth. So we'll right click, uh, a rename drawing, and we'll change that to A. Two, rename drawing, B. Okay. Now we right click on the heading, not in the cell, but on the heading, right click, say modify lip sync mapping. We switch this from, just, just to make sure that it's on mouth. And now it should be okay. We go into the timeline and it has filled in all of the different, all the different mouth movements based on the sound, okay. Dude, you want to know why I'm angry? And if you found as you went, as you scrub through it, that the lip sync wasn't quite that good, you can actually replace elements by just selecting the cell, and then you can choose a different drawing over here. So that's how you do that. You can actually do the whole thing manually if you like, but uh, you can at least get started with the automatic lip sync as a good reference point. I mean, when it doesn't quite look right, you can go in and modify it. So anyway, I think I'm going to cut it off there for this episode and we'll be back to do some animating. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below.